Welcome to Chicago 47. Your main target, Richard Strong Jr., is the CEO of Stallion Armaments, a high-profile weapons manufacturer. Richard Strong is an exceedingly private figure who rarely moves in public, so the best window of opportunity is during his brief appearance at the company's annual retreat. However, keep in mind that the place will be packed with witnesses. Our client wants Richard Strong eliminated, along with his entire host of bodyguards. Apparently, he wants to send a message. Richard Strong is highly punctual and will only mingle with his employees for 15 minutes. At precisely 6 o'clock, he will leave the premises, so be mindful of the time. There should, however, be plenty of opportunities for a more silent approach. I know you appreciate that. Good luck, 47. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play the Hitman Sniper Challenge. Now I know that this has been out for a little while now, but with the release of Hitman Absolution looming on the horizon, I just couldn't resist providing some coverage on this one. So grab yourself a drink, kick back and let's get started. As Diana stated in the cutscene, our target today is not only weapons manufacturer Richard Strong, but also every member of his security detail, meaning that there are 15 targets in total. That is quite a large abundance of fucking murder. So let's take a peek into our sniper scope and focus on our first target. This isolated guard stationed on the left rooftop. I'm so happy that I landed this bodyguard job. Better pay and better benefits than my last job. Ah, uh, after years of struggling to make ends meet, finally, things are beginning to go my way. Yeah, like that bullet. Panning our view to the right now, we spot yet another target looking across the cityscape. I don't know about the other guys, but I couldn't be happier that I was stationed on this rooftop. The views are magnificent, picturesque, and simply to die for. <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Moving our scope down and to the right now, we spot another guard... <laughs> just waiting for a fatal shot to the skull. However, there exists a more creative way of dealing with said bodyguard. 99 barrels of beer on the wall, 99 barrels of beer. You take one down and roll it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall. It's been much too long, 47. It's always a pleasure to watch you work. Indeed it is. Once that dickhead's been dealt with, we'll move our sights back to the previous rooftop and focus our attention on this guy. Mmm, that warm sunlight feels so good on my skin. I know somebody that's going to have beautiful golden brown skin this beach season. <laughs> and now we'll shift our view downwards and notice the bodyguard by the elevator. Now, perhaps you're wondering if there's a discreet way of dealing with this joker. Well, yes. What the? What on earth opened these elevator doors? There's trickery afoot! And I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery if it kills me! Mystery solved. After reloading our sniper rifle, we'll once again peek into our sniper scope and observe the building's lower balconies, spotting and following the movements of this patrolling bodyguard, waiting for him to come to a standstill near the edge. This is Agent Smith. No sign of suspicious activity. I repeat, everything's all clear and under control. Roger that, fuckhead before quickly shifting our attention to another bodyguard patrolling on the balcony to the left, once again waiting for him to near the edge and then shooting him so that he falls off the... Aw, oh, come on! Oh my god, I'm alive! By some divine miracle, I'm actually alive! Oh, thank the light! Much better. With those two bodyguards eliminated, we'll promptly move our sights to the rooftop terrace and immediately spot and take advantage of the guard walking dangerously close to the edge of the rooftop. Steady. Aim. Before swiftly taking out the lone agent standing on the helipad. Wow, I'm quite high up. I wonder how long it would take me to get down. <laughs> About five seconds. 
And with that fuckhead's lifeless corpse plummeting to the sidewalk, we have only five bodyguards and our main target left to eliminate. After taking a brief moment to compose ourselves and reload our weapon of choice, we'll once again place our sights on the rooftop terrace, observing the presence of several targets before focusing on this one in particular, moving towards the water fountain. Well, I think that this is as good a time as any to gaze dramatically at my reflection in the water and deeply reflect upon my life. <laughs> reflect on that, cockhead. And now we'll quickly shift our scope upwards and take out this bodyguard standing behind this tree. And now we have only four targets remaining. After reloading our weapon of choice once again, we'll scope out the more populated area of the rooftop and use our instinct mode to isolate our targets from the crowd. Zooming in, we can see that the nearby bodyguard is beginning to move away from the crowd. So therefore, we're going to... Yay-haw! This here rooftop shindig is the best part of it I've ever had the pleasure of... <laughs> Shoot the fucking cowboy. Wait, no. That's not right. Actually, what we're going to do is briefly observe the aforementioned guard as he isolates himself from the population, and then quickly snap our vision back to the hotel rooftop as we prepare for an opportune moment to very rapidly execute Richard Strong's three remaining bodyguards. One. Ah, what a great idea this was. Quickly ducking up to the rooftop for a healthy dose of fresh- I are. Ah. Two. Hmm. Yes, this seems to be a perfect secluded location in which nobody can see or hear me get sh- And three. And now we have our main target, Richard Strong, all to ourselves, and he couldn't be in a more convenient position. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are we waiting for? Let's end this. Well done, 47. Leave your position and the agency will take care of cleanup. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My handy guide to the Hitman Sniper Challenge. But before I go, let's have a look at some of the other funny inclusions that you'll likely discover during your time with Sniper Challenge. First of all, moving our sights quite a bit to the left, we can see what appears to be a man using his punching bag on a distant rooftop. Let's give him some help. Hey! What the? I must not know my own strength. Wow. Whoa! Yeah! You hear that, city dwellers? I'm a lean, mean fighting machine. Bring it on. Come at me. Let's see what you got. I'm the best uh, around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. I'm the best, yeah, around. Nothing's gonna ever keep me down. That ought to do the trick. 47, stick to the targets. No. Ah, there's nothing like relaxing in your favorite chair and watching TV in the comfort and safety of your own. Oh, ree! Something else that I found rather amusing was the presence of a stripper in one of the windows. To make her appear, all we need to do is shoot this boot by the pool, this nurse's cap on a bench near the fountain, and whatever the fuck this is on top of the stuffed bear statue in our target's private room. Once we've done this, the dancer will appear in the window almost directly across from us. And I've got to hand it to her. She is definitely a lot sexier than... Well... That! But regardless... Take this, you fucking slut! Let's... 47. Stick to the targets. If we focus our sights on the top of the tall building beyond the hotel, we can see what appears to be a ninja squatting on a ledge overlooking the city below. Now, last time I checked, this was an Assassin's Creed. So let's give this guy a bit of a nudge. The auditor, you're not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditor! Hey. And ladies and gentlemen, one last thing before we wrap this up. You'll notice on the rooftop terrace of the hotel that there are several explosive mines that have been carelessly left lying around. Therefore, if you're not one for subtlety, we can shoot this mine causing it to become active and armed so that when Richard Strong and his bodyguards casually stroll by it, it blows those motherfuckers sky fucking high! 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of Let's Play the Hitman Sniper Challenge. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this special episode and are just as excited for Hitman Absolution as I am. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.